I have a letter from the Vancouver Board of Education in which they express concern about uh, being $11.65 million short in this education year for their budget. Uh, they're projecting a shortfall of $26 million for next year. Um, comes on top of $47 million in spending cuts that have been made over the past decade. Uh, they point out that BC is below the national average for per student funding, $11,820 per student, compared to $12,106 per student. And that we spend less, to, less of our GDP on education than the, the national average. And it's, it's a unique letter, um, and the minister's probably seen many of these letters, but it's a unique letter in that it's signed by everybody from the school board to the district parent advisory council, the district student council, every single union that you can imagine that's involved in the education system. Uh, in short, everybody uh, who's involved in education in Vancouver has signed this letter expressing concern about this budget and about the shortfalls that come from it. And I could give all kinds of numbers and cuts and so on, uh, Mr. Chair, to the minister, but the, the reality is that la last night mm -hmm. I was at the, the school board meeting where they were discussing what to do about these cuts and taking input from parents. And there was a family, uh, a South Asian family that had come from India, um, a husband and a wife and two kids. He said his wife didn't speak English, his daughter didn't speak English when they came, and the South Asian liaison worker was the only way that their family could figure out how to access the school system and help their daughter succeed. And uh, one of those positions was being cut in the budget. He was surrounded by uh, people holding volleyballs and soccer balls and athletes because they're losing the district athletic coordinator. My office has been inundated with letters about the music program that's going to limp along this year, um, but it's almost certainly going to be cut next year. And, and last time I was here, I asked the minister, Mr. Chair, uh, whether he would come and talk to the parents at Bayview Elementary and talk to them about the condition of the school and the seismic upgrade and so on. Um, and um, I'm hoping this time, uh, and, and the minister responded, Mr. Chair, that uh, it would be appropriate to meet with the school board first. And I know the minister has now met with the school board. I'm going to ask again, uh, will the minister come, uh, will the minister make room in this budget, travel to Vancouver to meet with the parents that I heard from last night that are concerned about cuts to the school board? Because we can argue about numbers all day. I'm sure the minister has lots of numbers. I have lots of numbers. Um, but it's the parents, it's the student councils, it's the teachers uh, that can tell the minister firsthand about the realities on the ground. Um, and I would like very much for him to come to Vancouver and to hear from parents about the realities that they face, to hear from the kids who were in the room last night talking about their athletic programs. Really, uh, for a couple kids, the only thing that's keeping them in school, kids who were in a, a program called the Gold Program that uh, is being cut um, and uh, that was the only reason that they finished school. Um, it's really important to hear these things firsthand, and I hope the minister will make some room in his budget and uh, will tell me that there's room in his budget to meet with parents to come, and if he needs help coordinating, we'd be glad to help coordinate. Um, I have met with the Vancouver School Board on a couple of occasions. Uh, one day I took an entire day, um, and I asked the Vancouver School Board to take me where they wanted to take me and show me what they wanted me to see, which I think is the appropriate uh, process and I spent the day with them. I visited a number of schools in Vancouver that they had identified they wanted me to see and I continue to travel the province and meet with as many uh, teachers, students, parents that I can but I do that uh, in conjunction with the school board. Uh, I am more than prepared to come back to Vancouver. It's uh, not a long drive for me when I'm in my riding and I'm happy to do that. Um, and again, I will continue to meet with them and explore all of the options. And uh, I'm not going to repeat the numbers that are on the record that I did earlier um, because I know that my critic would like to keep moving. So with that said, I'll sit down. <laughs>